What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So I am going to be looking at a microphone. Now this is a USB microphone. It is a well-known brand. I actually have their keyboard, keyboards. I have multiple of their keyboards and I have their mouse. Um, it's Red Dragon. Uh, if you guys never heard of the brand, maybe you've seen that symbol before, Red Dragon. It's a very well-known, um, like I was saying, very well-known brand. But anyway, they had this for sale uh, at Micro Center. And I was like, oh, I need one of these. I didn't know they made a microphone, first of all. I, didn't, I had no idea that they made one. Um, but I picked it up for 30 bucks. Now, the guy told me... Now, I don't know if he was selling me snake oil or not. But the guy told me that this is equivalent to a hundred dollar microphone so i was like okay this is equivalent to a hundred dollar microphone so i just so happened to have a well it's a hundred and fifty dollar microphone but i have a uh, the rogue strix microphone and this one has a lot of features to it um programmable all kinds of like little things uh, that make it a $150 mic. It has actually three microphones in it, different types of dynamic modes, uh, just a couple of different uh, features that allow me to get a better experience with it. Um, I found the best that this microphone work micro microphone. This microphone works best when it's uh, sitting like not right here in front of you but kind of off to the side or maybe to your left or above you uh, that that works really well for that um, when this is right in front of you not so much um, but this one though I'm thinking that this one is more for a streaming and talking and so is this one but I use this one for voiceovers this one I would like to use for gaming but I also would like to compare it to the other one on voiceovering so that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to um, open this thing up and check it out I'm also going to be using my GoPro uh, I dug this thing out of the wreckage and put a new SD card in it charge the battery up so we're going to use it if you notice behind me see all those little red dots that are everywhere oh, that's a laser light that's shining on my ceiling and it's giving you that image of like the night sky it's actually kind of cool if you want to see it see yeah pretty cool right and then there's my gaming setup behind me I've never opened this thing before honestly so let's see if we can get it open without destroying it. I hate these style of tabs. They drive me nuts because you can't, like, you can't get into them. Come on. A few moments later. Uh, anything else down there? Nope, nothing. Okay, so we'll just... I guess we'll just set the box over here. Studio microphone kit. And of course it's like in Chinese. Oh look, they included a sticker. Oh that's cool. That's pretty cool right there. Look guys, they included a sticker. That's pretty cool, right? Oh uh, sticker. Yeah, sticker. Alright, sweet. Okay, so wow the kit. It's uh pretty nice, pretty decent. It's packaged pretty well. Um, let's uh, let's let's see here what we got here. So the pop filter—that's the first thing to come off. 
Um, it, wow, it's actually a good quality filter. It doesn't feel very cheap. Um, it's made out of plastic, but it's a very, like, hard plastic. Huh, okay, so, pop filter. Uh, this is our gooseneck. And, okay, so, that's our tripod. Ooh, the tripod does look a little sketch, though. But it, it locks into place. It's all plastic. Even, even that's plastic, but what do you expect? And then this part, I guess the microphone slides down in, in here, like so. And then the gooseneck uh, gets connected to this thing. So, all right. And then there's the microphone itself. It's actually a lot smaller than what I thought it would be. It's, it feels very small in my hand. Um, it's a lot smaller than a normal cell phone, that's for sure. Uh, let's see here, what's down here at the bottom? 3.5 millimeter. That's fine, that works for me. I thought it was a USB mic, uh, but I guess I was wrong. Definitely digging the design. I like the look of it. It looks, uh, it looks pretty cool, like that. Yeah, it has a Red Dragon logo right there on it. Alright, so let's see here, how do I put this thing together? Let's make sure that it's mounted for firmly in place, so we'll, we'll take that off. Whoa! Why is this thing leaning? Oh, because it's way off balance. Let's see here. Alright, I'm assuming I'm just going to have to thread all of this through that, and then the microphone will just sit in place. So, let's, let's do that. I'm going to have to say that this is definitely a good looking microphone. It, it has a very nice appeal to it. What do y'all think? You guys like the look of it? I do. I, I think it, it's uh, it's not bad. I mean, for 30 bucks, you, you really can't beat it. It comes with all of this stuff. Now, where the real proof in the pudding is going to be is um, how it sounds. So now we have the Republic of Gamers uh, Strix microphone now this is the one that i use basically for everything right now uh the only thing about it is is it's kind of an odd shape microphone all right it's a little bit odd shape but it has rubber feet see it has it has rubber feet on the bottom there so that way it will stick to the desk if you want it to just sit on your desk in front of you um, or it comes with this adapter here that allows you to well basically put it on a tripod or a boom arm which is how we have it currently mounted um, it does have a couple different features unlike the red dragon over there this one has a mute button it has an LED button it has a headphone so you can plug your headphones into it and then that's regulated by volume it has a USB out and it has a USB hub on it so you can actually plug something else into it and run it through this into your computer and it has a volume button right here on the side plus it has three different features it has a like a blackout silence kind of mode a dual mode and then like a single panoramic kind of mode to it um, plus you know it has RGB and it's Strix and it does look pretty cool Okay, so, you know, just right off the bat, this is a way cooler looking microphone. I mean, it goes with all of the RGB that I have going on in the room. The PlayStation, the PlayStation 4 lights, and all that kind of cool stuff. Um, that's actually my headphone holder. Uh, that's my PlayStation 4 thing. It's over there glowing, too. It's crazy. Everything I got in my room... It, it all has LEDs and stuff to everything. It's crazy. And then over here, this is the PlayStation 3. And the PlayStation 3 has its own sign too. So, alright. Back to what we were doing. So, anyway, this is the Strix microphone. It's all hooked up and ready to go. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the voice recorder. And then we'll repeat the same sentence like I said before. And then we're going to compare the two microphones together. So this is a test on the Rogue Strix microphone. 
When I say things like keyboard, mouse, gaming computer, check out the channel, make sure to subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. Okay, so this is a test using the Red Dragon microphone. Now, I do have to bring the microphone closer so you can hear it better, even with the volume turned up. So, words like gaming keyboard, mouse, computer, make sure to check out the channel, subscribe, like, and as always, thank you for watching. So I just concluded my testing of both the Red Dragon microphone compared to the Strix microphone, and I have found two huge differences. For one, the Rogue microphone, it can be anywhere near me, close to me, away from me, behind me, and it will pick me up and hear me quite loudly and clearly. The Red Dragon microphone, on the other hand, it has to be right up underneath me and able for it to pick up the sound volume uh, loud enough for me to hear. Now I thought originally that maybe it was a setting and that I was going to have to do something about it. Uh, but then I found that all the settings were cranked up as loud as it would go and that it was the actual microphone. Plus it was very important that the Red Dragon label on the microphone faces your voice or faces your mouth. That way it picks it up ultimately because that is which way the direction of the microphone is pointed. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope that you noticed a difference between the $30 mice, mouse, <laughs> mice, the $30 microphone and a $150 microphone. Now, I do kind of believe that the salesman at the store uh, wasn't exactly trying to sell me snake oil, considering that I was already in line at his register buying it. Um, maybe he was just repeating something that he heard. So I hope that this video helps and puts some of this to rest. Um, you get what you paid for. Um, this would work great for a kid. Someone's like 12, 13, 14, something like that, that wants to just use it for a microphone and for his buddies. Um, I find that this thing will work good on certain types of voiceovers or certain types of things. Um, so we're going to download a sound mixer and try to see if we can't play with it a little bit more and try to get a little bit more crisper. But I still think that my choice of microphone is still the Rogue Strick microphone. And we will continue to use that microphone. So anyway, I'm getting out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check us out on Facebook, Patreon, Instagram. Also, we have memberships coming up. Uh, if you guys want to support me more than one way by viewing, that opportunity will present itself here real soon. We're just waiting on approval back from YouTube and able to do with it. Plus, I got a little details to hash out. So anyway, I'm getting out of here. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Y'all be cool.